It was a normal night. The missus was being a pain as usual, and my mind was clouded from the last case that just went haywire. She was tugging on my last nerve, and if she didn't tread lightly, I was going to snap. Why do you do this to yourself, Bates? Have you gone too far? Have you gone off the edge? You were just a hotshot kid straight out of the academy. You knew nothing and said nothing to nobody. Now the world's at your toes, along with a disobedient broad. Hell, if crime is dumb enough to stand up to Detective Alistair Bates, they've got another thing coming. Chicago, the Windy City, the Big Apple. Folks enter the city and don't leave in one piece. I fully intend to stay in one piece. Crime is no stranger to a guy like me. I deal with low-life scum of the earth that you wouldn't lend a finger to on a daily basis. I was sure the same fate awaited me with this new case that I was to take on. The police chief would not trust another soul to take on this case. You give a man a gun, a magnifying glass, and a suit, and he thinks he's a detective. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's just not so. Speaking of which, in comes some bozo with a pinstripe suit and a handsome complexion that thinks he can accompany me on this mission. He was clearly just a hotshot, straight out of the academy, and I didn't have the time, energy, or gender for babysitting. I was horny for justice, and I wasn't going to let some papers ruin the surprise. I didn't want Sally Cop to follow me, but if he must, he better pack his bags for the ride of his life. After a quick stop at Joey's camera and hair salon, we arrived on site. 4.23. We had to be at the right place. Time to bust in and show Sally how to crack a case. I knew it. Some poor bastard got his apartment vandalized. There was tape everywhere in no definite or discernible shape. Murder case, he told me. The only crime here was that the place looked like a pigsty. It looked like a two-year-old was let loose in a tape store. But what did it all mean? Damn it to hell, I forgot my gun. I'm sure Sally wouldn't mind learning the first step of being a detective, the old switcheroo. While he was toying with his little camera, I set my sights on the best pussy I've ever seen. She was beautiful, a stunning creature, unlike anything I could have concocted in my wildest fantasies. I had to go feel her. Give her the love and attention she deserved. A vandalism case is only second to the pure joy experienced from nurturing a fine pussycat. It was only then that I realized that all my suspicions were correct all along. No one could have a face that handsome and not be a cold-blooded psychopath. So I did what any sane man would do. I put the old hot shot out of his misery. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you crack a case. Somebody call cleanup for apartment 423.
I came home that day expecting steak and rice. All I got was a Smith & Wesson. She found my gun. I knew she'd come in handy eventually. Apparently, she had other intentions. I knew she wasn't going to shoot the only thing that mattered to her. I gave her a look that told her I loved her. But I won't apologize for being a hotshot that was straight out of the academy. Hey guys, famed actor Elisha Feist here. Wasn't that one incompetent incognito? <laughs>